Hey, Garrett Gunderson, New York Times bestselling author here, and I'm in the middle of writing a book. We actually have the manuscript done. And one of the things that happens in writing is there's a chance for reflection. And so I'm writing this entire methodology and philosophy that I've been using for 10 years called Win Then Play. It's how do you profit up front? How do you become more efficient with your dollars so it's not about working harder or accumulating, it's about capturing. I just finished creating a few years ago this amazing video series for a major multi, multi New York Times bestselling author. I flew out, I filmed a whole bunch of videos and we created the product and in the same time they had a new licensee that came in, they had uh, some shifts in their organization and so after two years of not having it come out, I was like, what's going on? They're like, well, we're not gonna be able to do anything with it. What would have been the win then play solution? If you're ever creating something, why not test it on the very people that know and love you and want what you have to offer? We had done multiple things with them that were extraordinarily profitable, which opened up this gate, but we could have just said, well, why don't we test and see what people want? Do a quick survey, get the feedback from that survey, make an offer based upon that survey, and then tell them they'll get a, a different price, a lower price if they buy up front and then get it over time. That was a pretty expensive lesson for me. I had this mentor and his mentor said, hey, I've been coaching someone, and this is once again a pretty big name, he said, and he wants me to speak at his event. He goes, I'm not a speaker, you're a speaker. Why don't we do this together? We'll create a course and sell it. And I said, well, why don't we create an outline of a course? Why don't we film one video and see how we work together? And what happened was he had never really spoken in a group like that. He got fired up, he got pumped up, he got excited. He went over his timelines. He took more time than expected because of the applause that he was getting. He's got brilliant lessons. And what happened was, Another one of my close relationships and him ended up doing a business together and it was very successful because they operated more closely aligned. There was a marketplace that made sense based upon that partnership that wasn't necessarily making sense for what I was doing at that time. And so what can you do to learn up front with the people that pay you? So what are your existing resources? How can you be more resourceful and cash those in to create more cash flow? What do you have that you're not maximizing or monetizing? And who are the people that love you the most and how can you learn from the people that write you checks saying this is what I want, this is what I could see happening if you put out something like that and you should do this and that. Sometimes we get advice from people that are friends and family, they're not writing us checks and so even though their opinion is friendly and nice, it may not matter to your bottom line. It may actually be misleading because they have emotional vesting and making you feel good but the reality is what if you feel good and it doesn't turn into money in your pocket? And if they pay you, then move forward with it. If they don't, you've seen the market feedback that it's either not the right time or not the right offer or not the right value. All right, this is Garrett Gunderson, hopefully saving you a bunch of money from the lessons that I've learned the most painful way. Experience is the most expensive teacher. Hopefully this video saves you a ton of cash today.